This is Joey Manship. And I am Daniel Costa. We will be performing this video on how to create a pie chart in SPSS for you. I am narrating while my wonderful partner, Daniel Costa, is doing all of the clicking and creation. All right. Correct. So, first, uh, once you have the uh, uh, information downloaded into SPSS, um, I'll show you where to go from there. But when you're downloading it, make sure that you... Uh... Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, keep it rolling, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Keep it rolling? Okay, anyway, so when you get the data in here, there's a few things you need to do before you make the pie chart. First thing, you need to go into variable view. Once you do, so to do this, uh, once you're in here, first thing is rename v2, which stands for variable2, as occurrences, because this applies for the, uh, the numerical data here, and which is how many times the... Uh, certain oil spilling event happened. So in variable view, after changing that, you're going to need to go over to measure, click, and go to scale. So this makes it so that you can put, when you're in uh, the chart builder, so that you can put both variables on the, uh, bo both variables like being taken into account in the pie chart. Okay, so that we've done this, now, oh whoops, we can go into um, so now we can start making the chart so go to graphs and chart builder and click OK if this comes up okay so here we have the chart builder on the bottom left here are all our different options for different charts we can make we want to select pi polar and we get this little cute pie chart right here um, click and drag it into this wonderful white box right here okay so this is the outline for the pie chart. Um, <clears throat> so for this case, we want to slice the pie by the causes. So this means that the pie will con consist of the slices being labeled as whatever the cause was, whether it was collisions, groundings, fire, whatever it is. And uh, then it will make the pie slice. And then, so, okay, yeah. Let's put that here. And then... So we're going to take occurrences and put it in the count because we want uh, the we want the causes we want the size of the different pie slices to be like to be like the correct size based on the number of times that it happened. So we're going to put that in count. If you do not put this in here, uh, the um, the occurrences, your pie chart will just end up like having every single pie chart for the different causes the same size. So you need to make sure that you put this in here. All right, so here you, you will have a uh, good chart if you click OK, but first of all, we're going to go to Titles and Footnotes so that we can add a title on here. Click Title 1, and uh, you this box over here comes up. So in content, this text box here is where you can type what your title will be, and we're going to type this Oil Spill Spill... No, oh, almost there. Oil spill causes, and then click apply, and you can exit out of this if you want. Doesn't really matter. Okay, and so now that you have this, you can hit this wonderful button down here called the OK button, and you will create your chart. Ta da! All right. So here we have our uh, chart that comes up in SPSS output. And it's a pretty good looking chart, but we're going to do a few things on it um, to make it look a little bit better. So you can edit this chart in SPS out, SPSS output. So to do this, you click on the chart, double, double click on it, and the chart editor uh, window will come up. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to add percentages to this so that you can see not only like what portion of the... Um, uh, what portion, yeah, what portion of the chart each uh, cause takes up, but just see the exact numerical uh, value. So to do this, you go on the bottom ribbon right here, <clears throat> and uh, this little like bar chart button that says show, uh, show data labels, you're going to click that. And percentages will come up. And yeah, so some of these percentages, well, first of all, we want to make sure that they... Uh, <clears throat> that they 
say percent on them. So to do this, you're going to click on one of the percentage buttons. So you click on it, and then you go to uh, text. So in this window that comes up, this properties window, you're going to go to text layout. So, oh, not text layout. No, not that one either. Oh, okay, sorry. Go to number format. And in this box where it says trailing characters, you're going to type a percentage sign. So this percentage sign, the trailing characters is basically in every text box, it's going to have whatever you type in here show up after the number. So we're going to put the percentages uh, symbol here so that these will all the numbers will be displayed as percents. And when I do that, you see that little percentage signs come up after the numbers. All right, wonderful. So now we've done that. We want to, so this pie chart has different values in it. Some are very like small values that like aren't even like displayed. So, or they're just kind of taking up room. So to get rid of this, we are going to di click somewhere in the chart to deselect the percentage boxes and then double click on any of like the open areas, but not the text box. So you click there and you get um, a new properties window for the chart. So go to categories and this button right here that says collapse some categories less than and then a number we want to select this so this makes it so that the boxes that are less than five percent will be categorized as one box and this just makes it easier for the uh, viewer to view like significant like um, it will view the significant causes in oil spills and it depends on what you want if you want to see these like smaller causes you can do that but for the sake of what we're doing, we are going to uh, select this so that all of the boxes less than 5% will be in one. So click apply, and you can see what happens here, that all of the ones less than 5% get classified in one uh, box as other. So we are going to click close, and then you can exit this box. And here is your wonderful pie chart, and that is how you create a pie chart in SPSS. Thank you.